Now we're down here, and this is a special button that's on this board. This little button says reverse. Well, it's right above the pan knob. Right now, I guess this channel is going to one and two. The left pan goes to odd buses. The panning to the right goes to even buses. If, for some reason, which did happen, bus one was dead on us for a while, nothing would go to bus one. So I would have to put record the drums and take bus two and three out and patch that into track one and two. Remember I said it's nice to have that patch bay when you need to change your mind? Well, boom, that bus one went out. I couldn't get to track one. Well, I can do it through the patch bay. <laughs> Done. Now, the problem is that the pan knob pans between left odd and right even. Well, now I've got bus two as being my left input. Do you follow the problem? You see, if I had one and two up, right here, and I had my four drum mics all assigned to one and two. Now I have the kick drum going, recorded equally on one and two, because it's right in the center. I have the snare drum recorded equally on one and two, because it's right in the center. And I have the overhead left all the way over to the left, just recording on the left track, <coughs> and all the way over to the right, just recording on two, which is the right track. So this one is recording only on track one. This one's only recording only on track two. Do you see that? All right, well now, because this is odd left, even right, it works great with one left, two right. Well, one is dead. I gotta have two left, three right now. All right, well now if I've got this as two being left, that's even left, odd right. That would mean, here I am on, on, on this channel right here, if I want it to go to the left, I have to pan it to the right, right? That's what that would mean, because that's what happens, because even is right. Well, this little button here reverses the pan, for that reason alone, okay? It reverses it to even left on right, or just to the buses, well, to the, the speakers are after the buses. When I get to the buses, the buses feed the monitoring system, and the monitoring system feeds the speakers. So we're before the speakers. We're just talking about getting either to the buses or to left and right out, which are those white knobs. That's your mix stereo out, your stereo mix out. Okay? So that's what that is, and that affects this pin. Now, down here, it's a mute. Record mute, boom. Mute, none. Then this red button, the red button is a solo. The red button says, I just want to listen to this track. Let's say track nine, I push the red button, then I'm only going to hear this track. But going out of my buses and my main mix doesn't affect that. It only affects the monitor, the speakers in your control room. But what's going to the tape recorders whether it's your two-track or your multi-track, when I push this solo, it does not affect that. It just affects what you're hearing. So that if I, I'm in the middle of recording something, but I want to fine-tune the bass real quick, I can solo that bass, fine-tune it real quick, and then unsolo it, and it never, the only thing that changed was whatever adjustment I made. So in other words, it doesn't solo it on the tape. All of a sudden, you're listening, and all, and all you hear is bass. No, no, you'll hear everything. The tape hears everything just for your monitoring so that you can make decisions while you're recording and make moves.